feel a little drunk right now. Snyder Bear, Captain Lawrence, they're popular. Passion fruit and guava. Oh, is it a sour? What the fuck? What does it say? A refreshing twist on an Oktoberfest. Gosei style mashup. It's only 4.5%? Yeah. The f Put no alcohol in there. <laughs> Welcome to Brown Box for North. We are in the heart of Clearwater Beach. This is your Megaplex of the night. This is the best beer I've had. It's very, very good. I might actually like this better than High Life. Welcome back to another episode of Tap That. I'm Allie Ray. Today we're trying a pretty cool beer. I had to pick it up when I seen it. It has Snyder's pretzels associated with it. So. Ole. It's actually by Captain Lawrence Brewing, which I know is a pretty popular brewery. I've had a lot of people write me about Captain Lawrence. Everyone here is excited to try this beer because it claims to be an Oktoberfest with passion fruit and guava, and I'm like, all this stuff. My eyelashes were stuck together. <laughs> and it says that it has pretzels in it. This is the most oddest concoction I've ever heard of, and so for that reason, can we pour this already? Because everyone wants to know. I need, I need things. Oktoberfest with guava and passion fruit and pretzels. This is gonna be interesting. Smells actually like an Oktoberfest, and it also smells like a guava. So it's it is a mashup. It's supposed to smell like both, and it does. This is going to be unique. I don't I don't know how this is going to work. Okay. Wow. This is like fucking with my brain because it like initially tastes like. Let me let me bring you into this experience with me. Hang on. Initially. Oktoberfest that rounds out into like a Gose style guava vibe. I mean, it actually, it's exactly what it says. I don't know if I taste the pretzels yet. I don't know if you should taste the pretzel, but I don't really get biscuity flavor or like pretzely. It's kind of like imagine an Oktoberfest with just an ounce of tart. There's a little bit of something at the end of it. It is very clean. It, it definitely works. This is only 4.5%, which is virtually nothing. And I, I'm, I'm shocked by that fact that they've mixed this Oktoberfest with this passion fruit and guava and it actually, it, it's working. I don't really know how to rate it. Cause it's kind of in a category of its own, you know what I mean? Like how can you rate something that's like, you can't rate it like thinking about like an Oktoberfest, but you can't really rate it like a go say, but it's kind of, I think the creativity of it is very cool. I don't really taste any of the pretzel, which is a little interesting. I don't know where that's in here or if they just sponsored that. I don't honestly know where the pretzel's at. But this one, I would probably give, fuck. It's just got too much of a sour tart for me. I'm probably gonna go 2.8, just because I'm not, I don't really care for that sour tart at the end. Um, it definitely gives Oktoberfest vibes. It's just like a really unique beer to try. If it's in your town, I would suggest try it because it is a mashup. It's not something people do all the time and why not? You know, that's what craft beer's about is expanding your palate and trying new things and especially something as cool as that. So. 2.8 and that's a review. What did you know at all? It's it's like a soury Oktoberfest. Almost yeah. seltzer-like, yeah. yes. Like Where's the like fucking pretzel? Because I didn't taste the pretzels. 